move forward. I mean, yeah. we always have to think outside the box. I mean, exactly. do extra, a little bit extra for ourselves. Right. Yesterday I was at church and the pastor preached about stagnation. Hmm. You know, not being stagnant with your crafts, hmm. always improving your skills. I mean, you move from being a band boy to producing sound to going back to singing yourself. Hmm. I'm sure whoever led your band back then, you know, <laughs> think, ah, this boy. So all along he was just there. Anyways, let's check out the song with um, Techno. Uh, Black Jersey featuring Techno. We're checking that out. And then right after that, we'll talk about uh, some more, some other songs that you've done yeah. and then how the future's looking like, all right? This yeah. is YFM, One Leg, Black Jersey, and... So that's the sound. One Leg, Black Jersey, and my man Techno. It's like, I love the tune, man. It's, it's Thanks. a vibe. Thanks, bro. I like Appreciate the way you call your 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 instru- your beats a vibe. <laughs> like, yeah, vibe. This one is a vibe. Thanks, um, I want to declare one thing, right? Yeah. I I mean, to educate my people listening now, yeah. um, we usually hear produced by and mastered by. Do yeah. you do both? Oh, okay. Um, you, you get what I'm trying to yeah, ask? Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. So I produced it, and I have, like, you know, I have a full production of house and camp. So one of my engineers, like, did a mixing and mastering of this. Okay, so it means you're grooming other people as well. Yeah, you put know, together, so like, put, everything, put everything inside. You know, like, you know, instead of giving outside mixing engineers mm-hmm. jobs to mix, you might as well just give that job to, like, your people. You know what I'm saying? I like that. Um, also, let me find out from you, okay? Um, if, if you're in Ghana, right. well, you don't even have to be in Ghana to, to answer this, who are your top producers in Ghana? Like your favorite producers in Ghana? Um, let's let's do five. Uh, let's do four. You want to do two? I okay. have two favorite. I just have two. You have two favorite. Okay. Two favorite. Who are they? I have. Um, what was it? OG. MOG? MOG, yeah. Okay. Yeah, MOG and, and then uh, Kill Beat. And then Kill Beat. Yeah. What makes you love their beats? I mean, for Kill Beat, Kill Beat has been owning it down for a while. I mean, like, I give him, like, you know, respect. You know, I respect people that have been holding it down for a while and still, like, you know, holding it down, you know. I mean, it means, like, you know, music is really inside of you, you know. So there's a difference between producers and beat makers. You know, I respect producers, you know. I was, I was having a conversation with um, one of my bosses. Um, he's called Ignis, the CEO of Foresight TV, a while back. And then he mentioned something that caught my attention. I mean, apparently, so the original sounds of Nigeria right. never used to be like it is now. I mean, Ghanaians were parading the, we were pushing the ke, 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 yeah, ke, ke sound. Ke sound. Yeah, yeah. And then, I mean, I think that that's the, you know, the, uh, what's his name? Uh, Run town, the part right. over you beats, yeah. that kind of vibe. Yeah, that's like the original Ghana sound. Yeah, I know. Is it is it true? I mean, from a Nigerian's point of yeah, view. Yeah, yeah, he is because I life sta- I life started from Ghana. Mm-hmm. Like really, I life really came from Ghana. Like you know, I moved down to Nigeria and whatnot. But then you know, like Nigerians just fused I life with Afrobeat, and mm-hmm. that's why it sounds like it sounds like a little that flavor, yeah. like and whatnot. Yeah. So I mean, our music has a lot of impact on even production of course, in Nigeria. Of course, of course, of course. Mm. The Ghana, we call, we, we call, we, this what we call the Ghana sound. Mm-hmm. That's the Ghana sound. Yeah, we call it the Ghana sound too. And so now, if you're produ- you, you, if you're putting out sounds, yeah, you you can go in for the Ghana. Okay, let me do the Ghana sound. Exactly, we say that too. We produce that. We communicate mm. each other and say, oh yeah, you, you give me that Ghana sound. You know, like, and you know, it's a fusion. Mm. We know, they know. All right. So now, now that we've we've talked about t- your top producers um, in Ghana, let's do your top artists, top five artists. That one we can do five. <laughs> uh, my favorite is. If you had to do a song now yeah. and put your top five favorite Ghanaian artists on there. One, I'm gonna put Sack mm-hmm. in it. Number two, I'm gonna put Stoneboy in it. Okay. Number three, I'm gonna put Shanta. Shantawali? <laughs> Shanta. Okay. I love that guy. <laughs> I'm putting Shanta on it. I'm putting um, Joey. Joey B? Yeah, Joey B. That's my, okay. bro- that's my last brother. person. That's my brother too. Uh, Darko Vibes. Darko Vibes. Okay. And what would you name that song? 
Ghana uh, Powerhouse. Ghana Powerhouse. <laughs> I'm just crazy, man. Uh, well, let's talk about this. I mean, COVID-19 yeah. just sprung up. Yeah. Last year messed almost everything up. <laughs> we had an agreement in the morning to forget everything 2020, but I mean, since you're my first guest for 2021, I just want to find out from you. Yeah. How heavy did it hit you? Did it did it um, affect you positively? I mean, people learned new stuff yeah. during this COVID-19 period. What did yep. you gain from it? What did you lose from it? I mean, first of all, when it broke out, <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, I was not scared. <laughs> I didn't want to go out my house. Yeah, but I'm like, yo, don't come to work. <laughs> just back <laughs> off. Like, you know, the first time, because I couldn't, because I don't nobody stays with me like you know like and i can't really cook like that i, I used to know how to cook but like you know what i'm saying like so <laughs> you said it we had it already <laughs> you can't cook you can't cook but and i can though but you i did but, me and <laughs> yo, yo yo i could make like real rice and stew jello fries and you know plantains and all that but like you Are know you it's, sure? it's been a minute like i've not been cooking but if you, you know? try you right now you're not poison people uh, yo the first try might not be all that you know <laughs> <laughs> i have to rehearse like a couple of okay. times <laughs> You know, so like, you know, yeah, I mean, the heat, like, you know, like, everyone was scared, you know, like, we think, oh, yeah, is it the end of the world? Mm. I was kind of cl close to God a bit, like, you know, reading my Bible in case, in case it's rapture, because <laughs> you know, we didn't really know what was going on. Like, you know, the world was just like on shut down, yeah. you know, for like a minute. And, um, yeah, with thank God, you know, everything's back, like, it's coming back up. And um, for me, back then, it made me stay at home. It made me spend more time, you know, with my family. I had my mom come around and family and whatnot. And um, it made me discover more things about myself also because it made me have time to actually study and also, like, research about some more sounds, you know. Most of the beautiful sounds I make, I'm making right now came through came, came when the sun came during this period. Mm. You know, so it made me, you know, discover, like, like some other side of me mm. one last thing i want to find out from you then we're done um somewhere around i think two months ago there was a, 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 an uproar by the youth of nigeria yeah. against police brutality i mean the yeah. hashtag was nsas right um were you actively involved in this um, did you ever experience this i asked your boy last time he was yeah. here did you ever experience any maltreatment from the police you have you have yellow hair on. <laughs> you have your change your cubans uh, okay, on. You know me that. me. I was born in the ghetto, so I just know how the police operate. Okay. So I know I've never I've not really been in that situation. I ain't gonna lie. But I used I've, I have. Well, but but it, is, up, it is something. Growing that up, I have. Of course, growing up, I have. So right now, it's just been like. <sighs> I already know how to handle them. I know when they come out. I know when they close. I don't be, we, you know, like, it's crazy, yo. We don't really go out like that. Like, you know, you can't just go out. I mean, you know when, what time they come out. Mm. You know, it's not now that we can't. We walk around with securities, you know. For that reason, imagine you carrying security because of police. But don't, but don't they, don't they give special treatment to people like you? Yeah, they do. There? They do. The special treatments will, will amount to special money. Mm. You know, so but they do. And honestly, sometimes they do. Like, like some last week or last two weeks, I passed the um, the wrong turn. I passed the wrong turn, which is like a one way, and I got pulled over. And the guy was taking me to the station. I was like, oh wait a minute, it was oh black, it's you. Oh my god, like, you know what I'm saying? But that's different. That's the police. The size is a different experience. You know, like these niggas like don't even wear like uniform. Their, their actual names and badge on it. You know, mm. so. You know, it's like some people come from another state, you know, to come do stuff in another state. Like, you know, how do you track them? Is the situation better now? I mean, it is, because they're scared too, because they see we came out. Like, mm. some police lost their lives, yo. It was serious. The police, like, some police lost their lives. It was very serious. We're back home. But thank God, everything is calm and back in order. I mean, are, are there policies um, guarding these things now? Because I yeah, heard yeah, yeah, along yeah. the line that, um, you know, the president had... Uh, called them, them back, yes, disbanded yeah. them, and then the next thing I heard was, oh, it's actually a lie, and that's, I just wanted to find out from you, I mean, since you are there. I mean, right now, we've not really had cases like mm. how we used to be before, half SAS roadblocks and all, you know, all those things have stopped for now, I mean, because it, it won't even be wise, the government even know better, like, you know, with all the things that happened, like, <laughs> a lot happened businesses like people lost like money people lost like a lot of properties you know anyways we just pray and wish you know all nigerians the best i mean yeah. all the 
uh, residents of Nigeria, being a Ga Ghanaians, Africans, foreigners, whoever, because I know uh, not only Nigerians were affected by this. Yeah, of Anyways, course. Back to your music and your career. What is next for Black Jersey? What should fans look out for from you? Um, expect more singles, expect more songs, expect more vibes. You know, it's going to be back to back, back to back. 2021, if we don't stop. I'm putting out like a couple of um, buddy of works, and I'm planning also like a a joint um, buddy of work with Mr. Easy. Mm -hmm. I have my own personal EP coming out. You know, I have like an alternative sound, mm -hmm. you know, project that's gonna be coming out towards the end of the year. And um, you just mentioned Mr. Easy though. Uh, how many songs do you have with him? I can't count. You can't count. Yeah, <laughs> there's, there's a lot of black jersey on there. And then I, I want to be very sure about this. W did you do any work for Tenny the Entertainer? Yeah, yeah, we, we worked. Is it uh, uh, black uh, jersey? Um, no, no, no. We did the work we did. Was uh, for, we just did only one song. You know the fake yeah. Jersey song, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It would have been so nice if it was done. If by was you. that one? <laughs> for the like we Jersey made a, we made a joke we made a joke over that. You funny. did. Yeah. <laughs> Black Jersey producing <laughs> fake Jersey. <laughs> Charlie, thank you so much for Thanks coming so through. Um, you know, Charlie is a Ghana thing. Yeah. Whenever we call you Charlie, it means you're fine. Yeah, I know. Uh, yeah. You know, you're part of us. <laughs> um, while you're still out here, enjoy your your your, your yeah. stay. Thanks a lot. Um, work with more Ghanaians. I mean, yeah. there's still a lot more people to discover. Sure. Um, I'm sure you've heard the Kumasi people, the Asaka music, the Kumericans. What? I'm you down. Should, I, I think you should probably go there. I'm down. Fish out a few of them. I'm down. Put them on. Let's make it happen. I tell you, I'm, I'm, I told I I had like you know, like some interview like two days ago, whatnot, and I said like you know I'm down for like mm. once once it's crazy. Like you know, like you don't even know what what where the next Michael Hits Jackson is. Right? You don't know where yeah. the next Drake is. You don't yeah. know where the next. You know, so I'm one of those people. I've seen people rise, you know, from the low low mm -hmm. to the top top. So like. I know what time it is when it comes to real talent. Mm. All right. So, what are your handles? Um, you have an email in case anybody wants to get in touch yeah, with you to work. My email is blackjersey at gmail.com. B L A Q G R J E R Z W E. Okay. Same for my Instagram. Just blackjersey underscore B L A Q J E R Z W E. Straight, man. Charlie, thank you so much for coming through. 20 past 11. Uh, I've enjoyed this talk, man. My black Jay-Z is in the building. Be producer from Nigeria. I 